As it is rightly said that justice delayed is justice denied. The justice system in India is currently dealing with a plethora of pending cases due to lack of adequate judges and infrastructure. With over 3 crore pending cases and an average disposal rate of more than 3 years per case, the road to speedy justice is far ahead. The criminal justice infrastructure in India is overburdened and understaffed, which becomes a major reason for the delay in justice. There are around 1412 prisons in India with a total capacity of 380000 prisoners but the number of inmates in these prisons are around 433000 which means that the occupancy rate is of 113% out of these 433000 prisoners around 3 lakh are those who are awaiting their trial and are under pretrial detention it has been observed by the supreme court of india in mohammad shafi was a state of jammu and kashmir that the time spent in the completion of trial procedure far exceeds the actual punishment for the offence for which the person is being tried this overcrowding has resulted in the deaths of 1655 prisoners in the jails with suicide being the major contributor to this number the community legal care center along with its student cell community legal care and literacy cell of symbiosis law school pune established the symbiosis legal aid program on 9 january 2016 Symbiosis Law School Pune started this uh, prison project with the Arwada Prison as a learning collaboration as well as a sustainable development goal related uh, uh, and human rights related uh, institutional social responsibility initiative. In 2016 we embarked on this uh, project and in last two and a half years there has been lot of learning and lot of intervention aside from being identified as a collaborator with the high court team to look at uh, legal aid to the prisoners as on 26th july 2019 the total number of prisoners in girwada central prison are 5860 out of which 2865 are under trial prisoners many of these under trials are unrepresented or lack adequate legal representation This is the major cause for their prolonged trial duration and pre-trial detention. The prison is understaffed and overcrowded, which makes it difficult for the prison administration to facilitate pre-legal representation for every inmate which is a statutory requirement in India. The students of Sembasis Law School Pune come to Yerwada Central Prison for providing legal aid to the inmates. they have helped the inmates by drafting the applications and submitting the documents before the court they have been genuinely and honestly working for the program specifically male under trial prisoners legal aid work has been done on a larger scale further medical camps have taken place in both male as well as female prisons in addition to that the faculty and the students have taught dance drama and even conducted plays in the female prison for their recreational purposes so this program be the students who are the budding lawyers can participate in the process of contributing to the society by helping the prisoners at yerwada central prison pune symbiosis law school gave me the platform to help the under trial prisoners who are not able to afford the lawyers but symbiosis prison program gave them the platform and gave them the legal aid services which is necessary to represent them in the court of law and provide justice our efforts have been recognized by the 14th finance commission which has provided monetary assistance of rupees 2 lakhs for the irwada program on 14 september 2016 herbert smith freehills recognized our work and awarded us 2000 pounds which was utilized for organizing medical camps legal awareness sessions distribution of books water purifiers and other recreational tools for yerwada program the program is running successfully and the future plans include imparting skill based training and rehabilitation of the inmates symbiosis law school pune has been invited by various organizations to replicate the symbiosis model of the program in other law schools and prisons If we win the award money would be utilized in three folds 25% towards legal awareness 25% towards the education of the children and 50% towards legal representation for under trials